Hey, aloha everybody and welcome to Beach Walks with Rocks. Today is show number 208 and you can find us at beachwalks.tv. Good morning everybody. We are back here at the Honolulu Pearl Canoe Club and the Vahini Paddlers that we have been following this season, the military wives who are going to be doing the 41 mile Molokai crossing are here for the last week of practice. So uh, I've got a nice interview coming up for you with the coach and uh, we're Lexi and I came to give them our final hugs and lots of well wishes for a great race across the channel. One thing a lot of people don't realize about this race is that it's actually very expensive. It's going to be about $10,000 in terms of uh, racing costs, uh, moving the canoe from this island over to the other island so it can be raced back, and the airfares, hotels, all the expenses involved in training and preparing for this Molokai race. I'm going to put a PDF up on the website, so if any of you would like to make a donation uh, to the Women Paddlers, uh, I'll have plenty of information available for you there. I'm sure they'd love and appreciate any contributions you might like to make to them. So I'm here with Joe again, and uh, this is the last practice before Molokai? Yeah, we got, uh, well, actually, Wednesday is the last day. Uh, what we're trying to do is go, just like keep the ladies in tone, keep the bodies, uh, muscles in a paddling spirit, and we're just going to go easy now, just so they can get ready to go Molokai and give it all they got. Mm -hmm. So uh, I know there's a lot of emotion this last week. Everybody's been training for so long, and uh, what, what do you tell the ladies to keep them focused straight ahead on the race? Well, I try to tell them that, you know, don't forget your techniques, what you need to do, and try to work. Like now we toning down, I told them, work mostly on your techniques, okay? That's important because I told them that's the thing that's going to carry you through the uh, Molokai channel. If you guys paddle the way you should and we're taught and relax, then you'll come out fine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you've got a group of novice paddlers here, so this is the... Uh the full cycle here. You've got your experienced crew getting ready for the biggest race, basically the biggest canoe race in the world, yeah. uh, certainly for women, and then you've got your, your new people starting. What's that feel like? Well, it, you know, it feels great to see new people coming out, and especially the Navy wives, you know, they got all different uh, service branches combining to one. You got, you know, Army, Navy, and, you know, to have them combine together and work together because usually you know the service guys everybody they challenge each other like navy marines mm -hmm. they all got different things so it's a big challenge to have all these ladies come in one one group and you know work as a team right now you're looking at the future ladies if they are planning on going more local. hopefully by two years if they're still coming out mm -hmm. i'll be glad to take them whoever wants to go mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So um, I know you had some changes at the last minute uh, for the ladies in terms of the crew that they're going in. Uh, it seems that f when my limited experience with Molokai, there's always changes at the last minute. Yeah. Um, and uh, what, what's your strategy for that? Uh, in what way you do? In terms of d making the decision whether oh, to go the with the masters or whether oh, to go with oh, the open. Okay. Well, the problem was, you know, at first we started we were going with masses 40 and above, but what happened was, and like I told the ladies, okay, this is the things we need to do. Run, swim, get in the weight room, okay? And as time went by, there, there were some ladies doing these things. All of the, the requirements I asked them, and there were ladies that weren't, weren't doing it. And I, I just looked at it in a way that they think they didn't, they didn't have to work out. And for me, these ladies only paddle two years. They need to work out leaf waste, get in condition. And because Molokai Channel, it, it's nothing you can play around with, mm -hmm. especially the ocean. The ocean you don't play around because it changes in all different areas any time of the day. And you need to have ladies in top condition as much as possible as you can. Or 
somebody's going to break down. Mm -hmm. And that we can't have. So I, I made the decision that we were going open, and that was it. And the sad thing about it, I had to get rid of two ladies that I didn't want to because they were hell of a palace. But we just went on the workout conditions and look who was ready for it and who wasn't. Mm -hmm. It was a hard decision for me because both ladies were great palace too. Mm -hmm. Good. All right, well, anything you want to say to the ladies? They'll be watching the show this week. <laughs> Paddle hot, that's all. <laughs> Very good. Well, thanks so much. Really appreciate you letting us uh, share your training and development with these ladies. And we'll be at the finish looking for a good, a good finish. I hope so. <laughs> nah, honestly, the ladies did very well this last race. Mm -hmm. So I, I know they're going to do better. Mm -hmm. I know. That's great. They'll be ready. Great. Yeah. great. Mahalo. Thank you. So thanks so much for joining us today. If you'd like to leave a voice message for these ladies, I'd be glad to post it on the website with this show uh, all week long. So the number to call is 949-544-1456. Or if you have Skype, you can Skype it to Roxanne Darling. Aloha, everybody.